Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your subscriptions as well as your viewership. Okay, so what I like to do is to go on and just continue our fertility and conception discussion. And basically, the topic that I will be addressing this evening is when your partner already has children and you do not, but you really want a child, but it's like the partner is kind of reluctant to really start over again. Okay. So this reading is mostly suitable for those of you who are with someone who already has children. Okay. But you don't. But you want a child and perhaps you've been having this discussion with him or her. And it seems that they've been a bit reluctant or it seems that... Um, uh, you know, a bit ambivalent, you know, with their feelings here. So this reading will help you discern your best or your next step forward in this situation, okay? I'm going to be shuffling up this tarot deck today, this evening, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And basically, I'm going to focus solely on six specific questions here, okay? The first question I like to address is whether the reluctance lie in, you know, your uh, partner, you know, really having bad experiences, you know, or particularly with his or her ex. The second discussion point we, we will be addressing is whether your, you know, partner has been perhaps told by this, you know, ex that he or she possibly might be a bad mother or father, okay, because again, that you're this, this reading involves a partner who already has, a, you know, children. And perhaps this partner might even believe what this ex may have told him or her. The third we're going to be looking at is, you know, just whether the existing children are manipulative, something that you really need to know. And maybe if his or her kids are manipulative, what we would like to do is to try to see whether this might have been influenced by your partner's ex or, you know, or just something that is just that occurred that really causes, you know, trouble here that I'm seeing, you know, perhaps for you. OK, the four. You know, whether, you know, it's better for you to really wait. For your partner to soften or just to, you know, really just move on and make another decision. Okay. And then the fifth. If your partner decide not to agree to have a child, you know, are you going to be able to accept the situation collective? Okay. And last but not least. I'm going to provide you with your best action forward here. Okay. So as I said, I'm going to go on and shuffle up this deck here so Spirit can give us an answer here. So Spirit, give us the, the messages that Collective needs to know, particularly those who really want to have a child but might be involved with someone who perhaps already has children but just, you know, kind of been showing a bit reluctance to moving forward in the direction that, you know, you really want them to. Okay, so Spirit, please give me the messages here so I can just share. All right, let's see what we have here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start by just looking at the the cards that fell to the bottom of the deck. And actually, I'm going to, I pulled three here. So we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, we have the, yeah, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands, as well as the Nine of Pentacles. And ladies and gentlemen, this is kind of shocking here to have these all of these nines here that's kind of showing in your reading here so that's very you know it usually when you see a combination or see cards that are you know more you know of the same suit not the same suit of of the same rank it shows you ladies and gentlemen that there is an element of surprise lurking here okay so having these three nines, it kind of shows that it's, it shows a sign of happiness and fulfillment that it's going to come about for you guys. OK, and it shows an, in, you know, an auspicious, you know, turn of events here. 
not only in your lifestyle, but as well as your, your attitude here that I'm getting here. So let's go on and examine these cards from more of a, the perspective of what this reading is kind of calling for here. So it seems that certainly that many of you, because you don't have a child, right? So you see that you, you're having, or you've been hurt in the past, perhaps because you haven't been able to, you know, to, to conceive or just establish a relationship with someone who really, you know, wants the same as you. But it also shows here that a wish is going to be coming true for you guys here. And it shows that also with the nine of pentacles, this is a very good reading in terms of energy that coming through, that's coming through for you guys. So we have with that nine of pentacles and that further adds, ladies and gentlemen, that certainly, you know, because this card is all about independence and self-reliance and really knowing your worth here. So when you're just combining all that stuff here, so it seems as just to me that you know, really, despite whether your partner really wants another child or not, you can certainly do this without him or her that I'm getting here because you certainly have the wish card there that's connected. I feel that, you know, be determined to really have what you want here because these are your, this I feel is your destiny and don't you really doubt yourself that I'm getting here. Because it kind of shows that a wish will come true here of getting. And what you want is, in fact, within reach that I'm certainly showing here. All right. So let's go on and start with your first question here. So let's ask the question is, is that, you know, does the reluctance really in terms of, you know, your partner's behavior, does his or her reluctance lie in, you know, his or her bad experiences, you know? that they he or she may have had with the ex here, okay? And we have the Three of Swords here, ladies and gentlemen. And usually, the Three of Swords, usually, ladies and gentlemen, is certainly a no card here. But in this instance, I'm going to say yes. This card, Saturn is in Libra with this card. And this card is all about trauma and grief, okay? So uh, I feel that, your partner has been seriously hurt and betrayed. And if this hasn't happened to him or her, maybe the reason why this is showing, coming up in this, you know, position as being no here is because maybe he or she may have hurt someone else. You know, the, the X here that I'm getting is either or, okay? And I'm seeing that either your partner or either the person with whom he you know, was with, someone seems to have blood pressure or other health-related issues I'm getting, okay? I feel that in any event, this person seems to be still hurting, all right? So like I said, it can kind of go vice versa here, but I kind of feel that, you know, there's some type of hurt here that I'm getting, all right? Let's go on to your second question here. Has your partner been told by the ex that he or she perhaps was a bad father or is a bad mother or father, you know, or while they were in the relationship together that they were bad and perhaps your partner might even believe it. Okay, we have the eight of pentacles here. These are earth signs here. So with that eight of pentacles, that certainly is a resounding yes that this has happened. Because when you're looking at this card, although it's not a bad card here, it's more of an apprentice type card. And when you're in a more mature type relationship, this can, can be slow. And the person that's trying to, it's almost like, you know, this person perhaps might have been a bit too slow to do things. Or as I said, immature, okay, just developing, okay. But actually, he or she was more serious and I feel... I feel that even though that, you know, the ex may have told this person about, you know, their, how they go about their approach to father as well as motherhood here, I think they internalized that. But having this card here, it was a lie I'm getting. You know, they shouldn't have believed that because I feel that with that card, it, it kind of shows that this person is more serious and responsible than was thought, particularly by this ex. Okay, with whom he was or she was dealing. 
And I feel that this person was even hard working, but it was just more of a mature, immature, slow paced process. Okay. And I feel that this person is somewhat dedicated here, but again, you know, it's kind of up to you to make a decision. So you're going to have to make a decision about whether you want to kind of linger around and, and wait on, you know, this person. Okay. So let's go on to your third question here. Are the existing children that the partner has, your partner has, are they manipulative or, you know, kind of deceitful? And is this behavior influenced by the ex? And since this is influenced by the ex, is it causing any problems in your existing relationship, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. We have the Ten of Cups here. Obviously, of course, this, you, as you can see, it's certainly a resounding yes. It seems that they listen to everything that he or she says, okay? Because the ex makes the kids feel a bit more protective. So it usually does kind of go this way, mostly in most cases in these type of situations, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So let's look at your next question. If you wait, will your partner attitude soften, ladies and gentlemen? We have the seven of cups, all right? So that's hell no. <laughs> hell no. No. Because this person, it seems, of course, as you see with the seven of cups, they really lack focus. Okay? They're very doubtful. They're all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. Even drinks or you know, does drugs a little bit too excessively. So much so that he or she seems to have a hard time really, really kind of seeing the forest from, from the uh, from the trees here, as you can see here, with all of the different things that are shown here in this card. Okay? Let's look at your fifth question. If your partner will not agree with, you know, and go along with what, you feel is most appropriate for yourself, okay? Can you really collectively accept this situation? Okay, we have the three of cups, so you sure could, yeah? You can accept the situation, okay? Because with the three of cups, of course, that I, I kind of feel that you got to understand here, you're seeing all these people that said, oh, well, it's three people here. So it shows too, ladies and gentlemen, that you got options. They ain't the only damn one in this world, okay? So you definitely can, you know, uh, meet another. Some of you may already have others, you know, that you have your eye kind of focusing on too. So it looks like you have options. So it seems that you're going to gonna have to make an, a crucial decision about what you want to do again. All right, so let's look at your sixth question here, okay? So let's see what, you know, if not, right? Let's see what is your best action if you really want a child, okay? We have the Eight of Swords here, ladies and gentlemen. So that's kind of telling you that it's time to remove your fears, all right? Remove the blindfolds. Only you are holding you back. Get rid of those self-imposed limitations that you put on yourself and realize, just as this card is indicating to you, Love is in fact everywhere. They ain't the own damn you they ain't the only one in this world. Okay? And I think that some of you need to stop being a bit too modest in your approach all the time and just get others, you know, ask others for advice. You gotta release these anxieties and stop being terrified. And once again, I have to stress, you have to make an important, heartfelt decision again, doing what's best for you and understand that life is short. If something it is that you want and you're with someone who doesn't seem like he or she wants to provide it, it's time to hit the road, Jack, right? Okay? So what I'm going to do now is just can give you a few more messages before closing this reading here by just giving you, ladies and gentlemen, or offering you a few more messages here with these cards kind of help you transform your life by just simply letting go, okay? So, Spirit, what additional messages would you like me to share here with collectors? And collectors, this reading is valid until the end of this year here, okay? 
So, Spirit, what additional messages would you like me to share? Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's see here. It's time that you surrender procrastination, okay, along with what I've already told you. If this person is not really offering you what you want, it's time to move on. You, I mean, you have to be the captain of your own ship here, okay? Now is certainly the time for you to really jump on a goal. And we know what your goal is. You want a child. Instead of really kind of putting it off. Take actions to attract the success that many of you are seeking. You got to surrender your attachments to results. You got to take a leap of faith, ladies and gentlemen. Understand that certainly the formula for success is to certainly do all that you can to really make things happen. Then you just simply got to let it go. You have to let go of results because certainly holding on too tightly to a specific outcome, you know, you're always wanting to control things, you know, that certainly will always sabotage things here, all right, it's time that you surrender your ego, try to take some time out to call to great gratitude, be of service to others, and allow this to come from your heart. Because a big ego can certainly work against you, but humility can always and will further your goals, okay? And last but not least with these cards, surrender to non-action. Now is the time to really be still before moving forward, okay? Ask your intuition what it is that, you know, what your next step should be here. And in doing so, ladies and gentlemen, simply a lot of you... I hear people say a lot that they cannot meditate. Meditating is simply daydream. Just like you just sit up and daydream. You focus on something to just help you. Okay? So simply breathe and focus on your own power. And let others come to you. Okay? So, in conclusion today, collectives, I'd like to just leave you with a message meant from you for my postcards here. All right? Messages from spirit. So spirit, give me a closing message that particularly surrounding this topic or something that it is that you would like to share with collective from now until the end of this year here. Okay, something to empower them. So spirit, what message would you like me to share with them? Okay, let's see here. All right. We have this postcard here, and I'm going to read it as it is written. Dearest youth, we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right. It's never too late. Forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about releasing yourself here, okay? And you're, as you recall here, you have this eight of swords, self-imposed limitations from which you need to escape, okay? Understand, as I indicated, is that forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own. You don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook for carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others. And that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you just simply do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. 
So collectives, this is what I have for you against this. Again, this reading is valid until the end of this year. This reading, again, is mostly suitable for those of you who are involved with a partner who already has children or has a child. And you want one, but this partner seems to be showing a lot of reluctancy toward what you really want in terms of having a child here. Okay, so hopefully this reading provided you with that inf with information to help you determine your best path forward. Okay, so again, if this reading resonates with you or if you like the reading, be sure to like and share. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, be sure to do that. If you like a more personal read, you can definitely contact me at will.brown at watconsultinginc.net. Have a nice evening, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Thanks a lot.